Today I'm going to share with you a really cool feature in Business Central, and this is the option to edit in Excel. So right now you can see I'm on my vendor list page, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Page and Edit in Excel. You can see an Excel document is going to pop up down here, and I'm going to go ahead and open that. I'll hit Enable Editing. And what you're going to see is all of this vendor list information has now populated into this Excel document. And what's cool is that you not only see the visible fields from that vendor list, but you also see some of the other fields that are listed on that vendor card. You'll also notice that this data connector opened. And this is what allows us to publish this information from Excel back into Business Central. So I'm going to walk through a quick example. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add phone numbers to two of our vendors. So now that I've added these phone numbers, what I want to do is publish this information back to Business Central. So I go over here to a data connector, and I go down to publish, and I'm going to click that, and you can see down here that it's working. And when it's done, it's going to tell us that this publish was successful and the workbook has been updated. So now I'm going to go ahead and close out of my Excel, and I don't need to save it. And if I go back here to my vendor list page, what I'm going to do is refresh this page. And what we can see here is those two phone numbers that I added for the vendors in the Excel document have been populated into my vendor list. And also, if I navigate to the vendor card, we're going to see that phone number in here as well. But what happens if we try to put bad data into that edit in Excel and publish it back into Business Central? Let's see what happens. So I'm going to go back up here to Page, Edit in Excel. I'll open my Excel document, Enable Editing. So this time what I'm going to do is I am going to change the general business posting group for one of the vendors. So I'm going to change it from domestic to Toy Story. So I'm going to go down here to my data connector and I'm going to hit publish. And you'll notice that it's giving us an error. So it's saying that one error was encountered and it's going to highlight this line for us. If I open this message center here, it'll give us a little bit more information on the error. So you can see that it's telling us uh, the value Toy Story is not found in the related table of general business posting group. So if I hit done here, uh, the way to get rid of this error is to come down here and hit refresh. And I'll hit yes. And then it's going to revert this field back to what it was before we input that bad data. So Business Central does have some good controls about inputting bad data. Go ahead and test out this feature. Um, I think it's a really cool thing to be able to do. Definitely see if it can work for you or if it can work for your company. Mm -hmm.